All right, everyone, the claim is now being made that the U.S.-Mexico deal that was heralded as a big victory for Trump was actually months old. That is a, a roughly 40% true claim. Um, if you take the actual claim itself being made by like, the New York Times, CNN, literally, like the words they're using, it would be completely false. They're saying that the deal that's now been finalized is old. That's false. Parts of it were, and it was ongoing. But the thing is, here's uniquely why this doesn't hurt Trump. First, he got out ahead of the news cycle at a good time. He managed to at least get everyone who already supports him to, to accept the fact that the deal was a major victory. He got that out there. Uh, he, Fox and Breitbart and these groups and stuff. Ben Shapiro comes out and says, oh, I was wrong, which was hilarious. <laughs> He's like, oh my God, Ben Shapiro had to admit that Trump was not the Antichrist for once. Wow, interesting, because that hasn't happened in a while. But uh, Trump got out ahead. Uh, so that's a propaganda tactic. I mean, this the 4D chess. It's, you know, the claim that Trump was making at the time wasn't entirely true either, of course. Uh, we got to keep in mind that he's a politician now, so things, things work that way. The other part, though, is, and this isn't slimy or dubious, Mexico had dragged its heels on any implementation. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, the deal hadn't been fully fleshed out anyway. I think last hour, Trump sort of throws a few extra things in. Mexico basically just took it uh, and now is actually mobilizing its forces around the country to deal with settling people internally, at least temporarily, sort of keep them away from the U.S. border, and also to guard its border more, to, to increase its border security. Since Mexico is doing this finally, this is a huge win. The reason that it's a win is that it slows down the number of new people seeking asylum in the U.S. It falls short of a safe third country sort of situation. Um, and I'm sure Trump would have preferred that, uh, but there's no way really to get that without waging an all-out tariff war. Right now, Trump would rather avoid that because he's too busy with China. This is a stopgap measure, a temporary measure, and a very good one that will, I think, be effective. The the When Congress and the courts here have said you can't use the detention facilities for long periods and so forth, you have to deport people internally, that's largely due to the fact that these people, they, you can't de deport them directly across the border into Mexico because most of you know, the vast majority aren't Mexican. They're Central Americans and Venezuelans largely. Some Colombians and Brazilians sprinkled in. So these people uh, are, are not you know, from Mexico. You can't deport them. You'd have to fly them or, or ship them back, I guess. The expense would be too great. It wouldn't make any sense. Now, though, you probably can put them across the border. Mexico is saying, yeah, yeah, this is a fine situation. Where, and also, the number of new applicants, the number of new migrants will be a lot lower. One reason why the detention facilities along the border have been, you know, for very, very short-term periods of keeping people there, not even long enough to ably process everybody and make sure that it, make sure that everything's above board is because they've been overcrowded. So the court said it's inhumane. It's, it literally violates our laws and international rules on such things if you keep people for too long because it's just too fucking crowded. They're not going to be crowded anymore, will they? If they got half as many people in them, where's the justification from the courts that it becomes inhumane then to spend long enough to be able to at least process people? To be able to get the data you need, to as much as you can determine who's who, who's their relatives, are they cartel members, terrorists, anything like that, check for communicable diseases, and then and only then can you proceed further. Well, there's not enough time to do that right now. There are too many people storming the border, but now there won't be. It's a huge win for Trump. It's an optics victory on the first angle. Uh, even if parts of the deal were pre-existent, he got Mexico number one to implement them and number two tossed in new things. So, you know, the claim of the legacy media that it's like a huge disappointment, no, not really. It's, it's a win for Trump. Uh, you can try to spin it if you want to, but it doesn't really work on people who are kind of awake and understand how these things work. And number two, it is going to improve the situation at the border. Again, not a final measure. But it's better than nothing, and it's about as much as he can get until SCOTUS makes it clear, yes, if a bunch of people are storming your border, it's a national emergency, you can build your wall with federal funding from the Pentagon. Until SCOTUS takes up the case and rules in the administration's favor, there's a good chance they will. I believe that that will happen. Until that happens, Trump has to deal with the situation and look for workarounds. In this case, he chose to say, okay, we'll just tariff Mexico if they don't cooperate and they don't take care of the problem. And Mexico said, well, a 5% tariff on all our goods. We will lose however many tens of billions of, of dollars in revenue. The amount that it costs, though, to just appease Trump will be considerably less. Let's just do it.
And then Mexico has less of a problem too. Look, Mexico doesn't want a bunch of people walking across its country and contributing to cartel activity and stuff. I don't think Mexico wants to deal with it, but the, the government there is not the same. It's very, very slow to react to internal problems. We've seen this before. Like cartel activity takes them years to deal with, and takes them years to like drug movements, human trafficking, and all these problems. Like the literal terrorists running around. The nation of Mexico, the government there has been so ineffective. People started forming militias to deal with these problems. You remember there? Um, I can't remember. There were all those attacks by some of the some of the cartels down i think in the yucatan and they had enough so they said fuck it and they just raided i think the police stockpile said okay we're taking some weapons we don't care if it's illegal because in mexico there's like only one licensed gun store in all of mexico if i remember correctly or something because they have very very stringent gun laws people aren't allowed to defend themselves they're they're slaves to their government there uh people took up arms anyway said fuck off what are you going to do about it we'll become our own vigilante cartel at this point and we're going to deal with this problem it kind of worked. They started gunning down the bad guys, I suppose. And I don't know what ever happened to those groups. You know, I think they dressed as crusaders at one point. It was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, no, the deal went through. It's a big victory. Even though Trump's initial claim is not 100% true, the counterclaim being made is less true, number one. And you can't t say it's not a victory, at least in optics. And it will solve part of the problem at the southern border. Not the whole problem. It's not a permanent solution by far, and it doesn't even involve the U.S. directly acting. It involves basically relying on Mexico to keep to its word. If the administration changes over and a Democrat gets in, I, I have no doubt that the first thing Mexico would do is nullify the agreement, and the Democrats would go along with it. They don't even want to have a southern border. They might as well just form the NAU. Why don't we just annex Canada and Mexico if we're not and, and if we're not going to guard our border? And then we'll build a wall on the much decreased southern border that'll be one fifth the size, and it'll be a lot cheaper. So the conservatives can't whine about the cost, and the liberals can't whine about more racism because we've absorbed Mexico. How about we just do that? Wouldn't that be uh, there? We solved uh, the problem. By the way, now we run all of North America. Yeah, it's good to be an empire, I suppose. That's about all. Peace out.